Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, uh, Lord has given the apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher Amen. for the perfecting of the saints, for the perfecting, for the, yes. for the perfecting, for the coming up into yes. maturity of the saints, that they do the work of the ministry. Amen. It would edify the body. Amen. Now, an, an apostle, among other things, will plan ahead. Amen. An apostle plans ahead. Prophet sees ahead. Amen. And so, for some time, so... The Lord, the ministry the Lord has called me into is a prophet, and that's just what I do. And, and uh, but, so I see ahead, not everything, but I see some things. And, but way before this ever came, this, this virus thing, for, for, the, for a long time, I don't even know how long, for a long time, I've been telling people, you have got to come to the place to where you can keep sickness off of yourself and get others healed. Amen. And I've been saying that for, I don't know, just been a long time because I, I didn't see especially this particular thing coming, but I just knew that that had to transpire um, be, before this ever come. Well, then one other thing about what's ahead of us now is this. You're going to have to learn how to receive the promises of God in your life when no one else around you is getting it. You're going to have to learn how to receive. And I, I understand what you're saying. Well, God, I pray the economy um, in the United States comes back up. And I don't know whether this economy will or not, but I'll guarantee you we're going to head for an economy that's not going to come back up. We're going to head to a time and a place. You're going to have to know how to believe God whether anybody else gets it or not. You're going to, you're going to have to know how to believe to you have money in your pocket whether anybody else got any. Or, and it's, not, it's not because the economy is up or down or, or the United States is doing good or bad, you know. I, I mean, I don't want to. But listen, I'm telling you, I see the times coming where you're going to have to know. I don't care whether there's any food on the shelves at the store or not, you're going to have to know how to believe God for your food. Amen. You're going to have to know how to believe God for your health. You're going to have to know how to believe God for, for your resources. Amen. Not just to talk, not talking about it anymore, but, but I'm telling you, I see that it's coming, that uh, there's a change in the way that things are going to transpire over there in Exodus, the Lord said, I'm going to put a difference between my people and them. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's, we're at the, and we've been hearing for how long now? Yeah, I need to believe God. I need to, you know, and, and been saying it, saying it, but a lot of Christians aren't doing it. Right. They're just only saying it. But I'm telling you, crunch time is, is pretty close. Amen. You're going to have to learn how to, listen, you're going to have to, there might be times you have to believe God to multiply some loaves and fishes. Amen, right. But God, God still knows how to do it. He, he still knows exactly how to, but your faith is what's going to get it done. Amen. Your faith in God. Your faith in his word to you. God gives it to you. The, the, the kingdom of God has been given to you and the resources of that kingdom belong to you. Right. It's yours. It's yours, but 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 pretty much we've had the we we've had the uh, ability to either we can either tell you well if that don't work out there's a government program yeah. if that don't work out you know so, somebody um, you know I've got a credit card I've got a you, you know I'm telling you bless God you're gonna have to get busy and learn how to walk this thing out yes, you're gonna have to learn how to this really does work. And you're going to have to learn, start someplace. Hallelujah. Believe God for something. Hallelujah. Believe God for something. Believe God for a pair of socks, something. Hallelujah. Start someplace and believe God. Hallelujah. And don't, don't go out and, well, I could go back. Don't put your faith out on it and don't take your faith back. Right. Just believe God and it's going to transpire. It's got, you're going to, if you don't start someplace, you're never going to get there. 
You know, if you, if you want to go to Indianapolis, sometime you've got to start. <laughs> You're never going to get, well, I believe I'm going to Indianapolis. Well, when are you going to start? Sometime you have to start. It's time now to get started. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. You know what Pastor Lonnie was saying? To God, would you do it? And God's saying, no. No, Lord, you know, there's songs. Lord, uh, God can move a mountain. No, he can't. God said, you move the mountain. Said, you speak to the mountain. Said, the mountain obey you. Didn't say mountain obey. Said, the mountain obey you. You do something about it. We are the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. Uh, You know that that song about um, um, bones rattling, bones rattling. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there's a bunch of, bunch of bones that need to rattle in the body of Christ before we ever worry about it getting out there. We're going to have to be who he said that we're to be. Me and you. Me and you. There's a change coming. Things are going to change, bless God. I'm telling you, I know it, that things are going to change. There's going to be a time when, when you are going to have to put up or shut up. You're going to have to get, just get the thing working Amen. or you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, that's right. Right. Amen. That's true. Turn over there with me. Deuteronomy chapter 11. I want to look at me. Lord, it told me put health power, put health power in the people's lives. I put health power into your life. I put health power, I put health power. For I heard heard the word of the Lord this afternoon, he said, and I'd written it down, put health power in the people's lives. In the name of Jesus, whatever that means, I put health power into your life. You receive in the name of Jesus, I put health power, the power of health, of divine health into your life. In Jesus' name, health power. Power of health. Health that's greater than sickness. Power that's greater than weakness. Put health power into your life. Into your life. Raise your hands. In the name of Jesus, I put health power. I say by the power of the Holy Ghost, put health power into your life. Into your physical body. Through through your soulish area. By your spirit. In the name of Jesus, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All fear go. Fear of virus go. Fear of not making it go. Fear, fear of what somebody will say about you go. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Power. Power come into you right now. Power of the Holy Ghost. Power of believing. Power of faith. Power, the power of Almighty God. I come against this other by the power of health, by the power of faith, by the power of believing, by the power of the blood, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. He's giving you everything you need. He's giving you everything you need. Oh, hallelujah. He's given you everything you need, everything. Everything's already been released. This thing, God's releasing something. No, God has already released it. Romans chapter 8 said, if he gave you Jesus, how will he not with him give you everything else that he has? He's given it to you. 
Yeah. It's your receiver that's wrong. It's not God's sender. There's nothing wrong with God's sender. It's your receiver. Now receive, praise God. Amen. Oh, you receive in the name of Jesus. I come against hopelessness. I rebuke it. I rebuke it. I come against the, the looking at the, this world as being as being the, the what's right. No, God is right. Hallelujah. You are right. You are righteous in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I refuse to allow it to be in here. I'm not going to I'm not going to try to teach and that kind of a junk be in here. Get off of the people. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. You be free. You be free. He who the Son sets free. That's you. You be free. You be free. He'll make you free, but you got to be free. You're not free just because he made you free. Because he set everybody free. He that Son sets free has to be free. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. 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 I'm free. I'm free from sickness. I'm free from the power of sickness. I have the power of the Holy Ghost. I have the power of health. Hallelujah. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Blessed be God. Oh, around you, around you, surround you, over you and under you, around you, Marando. <laughs> Power of health around you. Power of health around you. Power of health that, that, uh, that, the, that sickness cannot penetrate. Power of health, not just healthy. You not just be healthy, but the power of health be around you. In the name of Jesus, nothing can withstand the power of health. Bless God. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless God. I bless you, God. Hallelujah. Glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 We are coming to the time God's going to make a separation between his people and this world. Be a separation. That's what sanctification is, being separated from and joined to. Separated from. God make a difference between this world and you. You're not of this world. You're in it, but not of it. Praise God. You're of the kingdom. You're in the kingdom, praise God. You're in the kingdom. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Act like it. Act like it, praise God. Receive of the, of the power and the abilities in the kingdom, the resources of the kingdom. The resources of the kingdom. You're, you're not tapping into your resources. You're not tapping into what belongs to you. Come on, come on, yeah. You don't have to ask God to give it to you. God's already given it to you. You're not tapping into what God's given you. Not tapping into it. Not, not receiving it. You don't have to get any better. You don't have to, you don't have to know more. You don't have to, all oh, that's got a place, but that's not how you get it. You get it by faith in God. You believe God is that big that he can give it to me. And I've got it, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Whatever I bind is on earth bound in heaven. Amen. Whatever I loose, whatever I do with it. Amen. What I do, what you do with it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. God's, making a, God's making a change, a difference between his people. Amen. This world. This world, God, would you... God, would you just get this corona out of the whole world? No. God said, no, I'll get it out of you. I'll get it out of you. And if you go forth in my name, you can get it out of somebody else. 
you go in my name and you tell them, you tell them that there's a great king that, that by his stripes you're healed. Wouldn't you like to receive them? No, is God going to just get corona out? No, no, God said, I get corona out of my people. I made my people where they're above this and not beneath, where they're, where they're above only. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then they go and set the captives free. Jesus, Jesus said, I give you power. I give you authority. You go, whatever you ask in my name, I, well, if you ask anything in my name, I'm going to do it. You go. You take it. You take it. Kingdom of heaven suffers violence, but the violent take it. Praise God. By force. And they, and they use the force of it. That's you. That's you. God's calling on you. God's calling on you. God's depending on you. God said, I give it to you. Now, I'm depending on you to do something with it. I'm depending on you to use it. Not act like the world. We're not, we're not of them. We're not of them. We, we've got a king. Hallelujah. He's our king. My king. He's your king. Say, it, say he's my king. Say it again. He's my king. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The gifts of the Spirit belong to you. Gifts of the Spirit. He, he gives to every man, to every one man. He gives to every, every person, everybody born again. The Holy Spirit gives the gifts through those people. There's a gift of the Spirit you need to operate in. There's a gift of the Spirit you need to operate in. There's a gift of the Spirit you're waiting for, you're waiting for preachers to operate in it. God, but God gives to every man, every man, every man to profit with all. The hand can't say to the foot, I don't need you. You are baptized into the body. And being in that baptism is the giftings, the anointings, the, the power of the Spirit of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God works in your life. Yes, Amen. God works in your life. The only problem is you don't appreciate it. <clears throat> you look at what, what didn't happen in your life. If you start being thankful for what did happen in your life, you'll see what didn't happen change. Amen. Be thankful for what get, did, does happen, what Amen. did happen. God saved you. Man, that was a mess. Yeah. God saved you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That took some power. God saved you. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The old man died and, and now you've come into a new creation. Yes, Boy, that took something. Yes, did. God did something. Yes, did. God did a miracle in your life. Yes, you need to be thankful for a miracle that happens in my life. Miracles happen in my life. I know miracles happen because I'm born again. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Miracle happened, praise God. Hallelujah. I know God performed miracles because I'm saved. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I can believe him to do, perform miracles on anything else because he did one here. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now I'm thankful for it. Tell him, tell him I'm thankful for it. Thankful. Tell him I'm thankful for miracles. Thankful. I know miracles work. Know. Happens in my life. Praise yes. God. I believe for greater miracles. I believe for other miracles. I believe for miracles happening. Up, and I know, and I'm not begging and pleading. I'm believing, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Gifts of the Spirit. Bless the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Gifts of the Spirit. You, you have the gift of the Spirit in your life. Don't even know it. Don't even know it. Don't appreciate it. Don't, don't, don't recognize it. Oh, hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, open the eyes of their understanding to the gifts of the Spirit that operate, that operate in their life. They're looking for the spectacular, and they're missing the supernatural because they're looking for spectacular. But in the name of Jesus, that your understanding would open up right now in the name of the Lord Jesus, that you'd, you'd recognize the supernatural, that it doesn't have to be spectacular. Praise God, it's supernatural. Yeah, yeah. Supernatural, bless God. Happening in your life. Happening in your life. Kept you out of wrecks. 
kept you out of wrecks. Supernatural things happened, kept you out of wrecks. If you'd been another couple of minutes early or a couple of minutes behind, supernatural has happened, and you think nothing supernatural happens in your life. He's kept you. He's kept you. Kept people from coming across you that had bad intentions. God's kept you from that. Supernatural happens in your life all the time. All the time. You want something spectacular, but he, he operates supernaturally. Sometimes it'll be spectacular. Sometimes it ain't, but it's still supernatural, praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. The supernatural operates in your life because you're supernatural. Yes. You're a supernatural being. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say, I'm supernatural. I'm Say it again. I'm supernatural. I'm supernatural. Hallelujah to God. Yes, Hallelujah. You can't be born again and not be supernatural. Bless God. Then baptized in the Holy Spirit. Oh, bless God. You're supernatural. Hallelujah. Start looking for the operation of the supernatural. Because it happens in your life every day usually. And you just don't, just don't see it. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost slap them when it happens so they'll wake up to it. Bless God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. You have the Holy Spirit. You have a supernatural Holy Spirit to teach you. You have supernatural Holy Spirit to guide you. You have the supernatural Holy Spirit to reveal hidden things to you. You have the supernatural Holy Spirit to lead you into all truth. You have a supernatural Holy Spirit. That's supernatural. That's supernatural. You, you could know what you know and wouldn't be for the supernatural Holy Spirit. Supernatural operates in your life. When you see something in, in the Word or, 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 or just sit, sitting around meditating, supernatural things are happening. The supernatural Holy Spirit. You've got Him. You've got the Holy Spirit. You've got the Holy Spirit. You need to thank Him for the supernatural that's happening in your life. That you're not even, oh, Holy Spirit, thank you, the supernatural. You lead me, you guide me, you teach me, you comfort me, you bring me up, you show me things, you reveal things. To, oh, Holy Spirit, thank you for the supernatural happening in my life. Bless God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 May you be affected by the supernatural power working in. May you be affected to bring you out of where you was to get, uh, help you get to where you need to go. May you be affected. May the supernatural not just happen to you, but may the supernatural affect your life to bring you out of where you've been, out of the humdrum everyday experience, into the supernatural presence of Almighty God, into your place in Him. You're in Him, and He comes to take you to where you ought to be in Him. Hallelujah to God. Oh, may it affect your life. Effectual fervency of the thing in your life. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Take over. Take over. Take over. Quit letting the devil run your life. Take over. Quit letting circumstances run your life. Take over. Quit, 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 allowing, quit allowing how things go and what people are saying. Take over, praise God. Take over. Bless God. Take over. Take over. Take over your body. Take it over. Take it over. You ain't running me, body. I'm running you. Take over, praise God. Take over. Take your mind. Take over in your mind. I have the mind of Christ. Take your mind over. Take it over. Don't let it, don't let it wander over here. Think about things that ought to be thinking about. Yes. Pull down imaginations. Yes. Every thought exalting itself against a knowledge. Bring it into captivity. Every thought. Yes, Lord. Take over. Take over, praise God. Take over. Oh, bless God. Take over. Yes. Take over. When you walk into a room, take over. When you walk into a room, take over. Every demon gonna leave. I take over. In the name of Jesus, every demon gotta leave. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus, upsetting us, God, leave. I say, peace be to this room. Take over, praise God. Take over, hallelujah. Take over, bless God. Hallelujah, I'm not having this. In the name of Jesus, I take over. Bless God, I take over. Hallelujah, I take over. I take over, take over. Take over where you work. Take over where you work. Drive them demons out. Take over, praise God. Hallelujah. Take over in the spirit realm where you work. Take over. Bless God. Take over where you go. I'm not having demons around me. I'm not having demons in other people when they're around me. Now, when they leave, that's up to them. But they get near me, I'm stupid things going to leave them, praise God. Take over, bless God. Hallelujah. Raise your hand. Say, I take over. I take over, bless God. Hallelujah. I take over. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. I take over. I'm not having it. I'm not having it, praise God. I'm a child of a king. Hallelujah. My king is raised from the dead. My king spoiled principalities and powers. My king made a show of them openly triumphing over them, and he did it for me, and I take over, praise God. In his name, I take over. By his power, I take over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. I take over. I take over, praise God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. I've got more than enough power. I'm more than a conqueror, praise God. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Get around me in the name of Jesus. You're going to be better off. Something going to jump off on you and bless you. Hallelujah. Going to heal you. Going to deliver you, praise God. Hallelujah. Take over. Take the kingdom. It's suffered by, but take it by force. Take over, praise God. Walk in the power and the ability of the kingdom. Oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Quit being pushed around. Quit being pushed around, pushed down. Quit being that way. No, in the name of Jesus, I take over. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I refuse to do without peace. I refuse to do without peace. Praise God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, peace he gave me, not as the world gives, but his peace he gave to me. And I let not my heart be troubled. I don't, I'm not afraid, praise God. I'm not in fear. Blessed be God. Oh, hallelujah. I know somebody that came here and they, and they thought they had him, but he rose from the dead and he took over, praise God. Now he said, you go in my name, take over. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Well, hopefully you found Deuteronomy 11 by now. Hallelujah. If not, get with somebody else and tell them to take over. So. You shall therefore love the Lord your God always. You shall keep his charge, his statutes, ordinances. Know this day I'm not speaking to your sons who have not known, who've not seen the discipline of the Lord, who've not seen his greatness, his mighty hand, his outstretched arm. I'm not talking to people that have not seen signs and his works which he did in the midst of Egypt to Pharaoh. So I'm not... I'm not speaking to, tonight to people that don't have, have not had God do anything in their life. God's done things in your life. God done, you wouldn't be here tonight. God hadn't done things in your life. You may not even be alive. God hadn't done things in your life. God's done. I'm not talking to people that don't know anything about God, but I am talking to some people that don't know what to do with what they've got in God. They don't know how to use it. They don't understand that God gave it to us. Lord, would you get rid of this virus? No, no, I'm going to make a difference between my people, Amen. people that really know me, Amen. not just because you're born again, but people that, are, that know and understand that we've got a covenant of healing with Almighty God, cut by the blood of the Lord Jesus, that by his stripes we have a right, we have a right and a privilege, praise God. To the, to the healing power of God himself. 
We've got a right to it. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Yes, I'm talking to a people that know, no, no, no. that know, have had some experience with God. Yes, I want you to go down to verse 18 with me. You shall therefore impress these words of mine on your, you, you shall therefore impress these words of mine on your heart yes, and on your soul and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand and they shall be as frontlets on your forehead. Yes. You do it. Yes. You do it. You impress these words on your own heart. You impress them on your soul. You bind them as a sign you, you, uh, on your hand. They'll be fine. You shall teach them to your sons. Yes. Talking of them when you sit in your house watching TV and when you are jogging along the road yes. and when you lie down and when you rise up, when you do it, you impress it, you do it. You shall write them on the doorpost of your heart, of your house, and on your gates so that your days and the days of your sons may be multiplied, may be multiplied, so your days to be multiplied. You can have multiplication of days. Amen. You can multiply your days by listening to God. He said, you teach them, you write them, you write them on your Cell phone, do you write them on your e pad? You do well, it doesn't exactly say that, but <laughs> you, you do them, right. you do it. So you'll be you, you're careful, uh, verse 22, to keep all his commandments, which I'm commanding you to love. What's his commandment to us? Love a new commandment I give unto you that you love yeah. to love the Lord your God, walk in his ways. Hold fast to him. Hold on to him. Then the Lord will drive out all these nations from before you. And you will disp uh, dispossess nations greater and mightier than you. Hallelujah. You'll do it. You'll do it. You do it. God said you, you, you stick to the Lord. You stay with God. You love him with all your heart. And then you will drive out the nations before you. You will drive out coronavirus. Yes. You will drive out lack. You will drive out these things from before you. The verse 24, every place, every place on which the sole of your foot treads shall be yours. Hallelujah. Every place which your foot, you put it under your foot. You put it under, you don't let it rise back up. You put it under your foot. Your border shall be from the wilderness where you've been wandering around and from the river of Euphrates as far as the west, from the hemming in place, place I just hemmed in. No man will be able to stand before you, the Lord your God, will lay the dread of you and the fear of you on all the land in which you set foot as he's spoken to you. I'm setting before you today a blessing and a curse. Blessing if you listen to the commandments of the Lord, your God. He's your God, which I'm commanding you today. The curse if you don't. And he goes on and talks about crossing the Jordan, Jordan River. Down. But you understand that it's you. Right. You understand it's you. Yeah. You're going to have to quit praying, God, would you? You're going to quit doing that. You're going to have to start listening to God. God says, no, you. I give you the power. I give you the ability. No, you do it. Whatever you bind on earth, whatever you lose, whatever you allow, what you don't allow, what you do with it. It's what, what we, the body of Christ, what we do with this thing, uh, this corona thing, what we do with it. And I'm telling you, worse things are coming. Right. So, so now you, you and me, we're going to have to rise up, learn how to walk in the power and the ability of this thing, not getting somebody else to pray it for us, not getting somebody else to lay hands on us, not getting somebody else to, to, to um, get on the phone and get 6,419 people praying about it. But whatever you ask in my name, I'll do it for you because you asked. 
Because you're, pre you're precious to me. Because you are born again. Because you are my child. I'll do it for you if you believe. If you just believe. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah to God. Do it for you. You do it. You do it. Lord, would you, would you, do? no, no, I give you, I give you, Lord, would you move the mountain? You know, there's a song, my God shall move a mountain. No, no, he said, he said, you speak to the mountain right. and the mountain will obey you. That's right. You speak to it. You do something about it. Right. You believe. You get, you get some kind of a gumption in you. You get something, you come out of this thing to where you're, where you're, where you're just, you know, just weak and whatever. You come out of that, you get, you get mad about the thing, praise God. If you don't act, know what you're doing, just act like you do. Amen. Praise God. Just act like it. Hallelujah. Most demons will run just because you act like you know you're something. And they don't know whether you do or not. Praise God. You know, you can get out there, you can put down the helmet of salvation, put down that, that uh, uh, face plate on the front of that thing and they don't know whether Jesus or you's in there right. and they don't want to tangle with Jesus again they tried that once if you if you quit lifting it up and peeking every once in a while <laughs> if you just leave it down and know I have um, I, I'm here in the by faith in Jesus praise God I'm here by the power of God in my life hallelujah hallelujah to God oh bless God oh bless God Hallelujah. Say, I'm somebody. I'm somebody. I'm somebody. I'm created in his image. I'm made in his likeness. I'm crowned with glory and honor. I'm raised from the dead. When he raised from the dead, that power raised me from the dead. I'm somebody. Devil, look out. I'm somebody. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Let's look at uh, Joshua, the first chapter. Next book right after Deuteronomy here. Next book's Joshua. came about after the death of Moses, servant of the Lord. The Lord spoke to Joshua. Joshua in Hebrew is the same as word as uh, Jesus in Greek. Same, same word, just different language. Uh, the son of none. Moses, my servant, is dead. Therefore, arise, cross this Jordan, you and all this people. Cross this Jordan. You and all this people, Joshua, same, same word, Jesus, cross this Jordan, you and all this people. Yes. Jesus crossed the Jordan, yes. and now he's waiting for his people. Cross the Jordan. Hallelujah. Why don't you come on over? Praise God. Why don't you come on over? Hallelujah. Why don't you come on over into the promised land? Why don't you come on over? There's a, there's a land flowing with milk and honey. Why don't, you, why don't you just come on over? Why don't you come on over? Come on. Because he crossed over and he said, he said why don't you come on? He said, Joshua and, and all this people, all his people, what's he waiting on? Waiting on his people. I'm telling you that there's an army of God that's rising. There's an army, but God, but the Lord's waiting on all his people, waiting on his people. As many as will come. Come on, cross the Jordan. Come on over into this land. Well, there's, there's, there are giants in the land. Yeah, but they're afraid of you. There are giants in the land, but they've already been defeated. There are giants in the land, but they, they know, they tremble at the sound of the name of Jesus. 
There were giants in the land, but he defeated them all, the spoiled principalities and powers, and he made a show, and he rose up victorious over them, and he said, I give you the keys. <laughs> I give you the keys to my victory. I give you the keys to walk in the power and the anointing of God. I give you the keys uh, that you can walk in this thing. You can live in it, and come on, come on, but you got to come over Jordan. You got to come on over on this side. You got to come out of, off of that side. You got to come on over, praise God. Just come on over into the land flowing with milk and honey and start putting your foot down that we read about over there in uh, Deuteronomy. Every place the sole of your foot treads, you got you to gotta tread it. You got to own it. You got to own it. Say, I, I've been that far. I've been that far, bless God. I ain't going back. I've been this. You know, I ain't going back over Jordan. I'm this far, praise God. And I've come this far. And every place my, my, my foot has touched and I've put that thing under my feet. In the, I'm more than a conqueror in that area. I'm, I'm an overcomer in that area, praise God. I'm not going back fighting that battle again. I already fought it, praise God, in Christ and won, hallelujah. And I got the victory, praise God. And every day you need to remind yourself. You need to remind yourself of your past victories. You need to remind yourself of where you've come from. You need to remind, quit fighting the same battle over and over and over and over. You won, praise God. You won, hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's no fight left of the thing. I won. Now put it under your feet. Put it on down under your feet, praise God. Say, no, I possess this land. Hallelujah. I possess this land. I'm going into the promised land. I'm going into all the promises of God that he's given me in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'll possess them one at a time. One at a time. You remember last week we talked about, we talked about quit trying to be, uh, uh, t- uh, do a bunch of things all at once. Quit, yeah, quit trying to do that. No, one thing I do, Paul said, one thing I do. Forgetting what's behind, I press toward the mark, praise God. You get, you get this divine. Listen, you need to get uh, healing down. You need to get it down. You need to get it down. Listen, your body is the thing fighting you. It ain't so much the devil fighting you. It's your body that don't want you to take control. That's been controlling you for all these years. And now it doesn't want to just give up. You're going to have to control. You're going to have to fight the fight of faith. Believe what God said about the thing. You need to get this thing about healing down in your own body. Praise God. Well, you don't have to take medicine. Well, you're not afraid to lay hands on somebody that's sweaty and whatever, you know, with his junk. Knowing that it'll die when it comes in contact with me. I know it because I I walk in divine health, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. You need to get it. You need to get it. You need to get something over. You need to be, I'm over that. I've got that one working. Then go on to something else. But don't try to do four or five things at once. Don't try to get four or five different scriptures about different subjects going at one time. Get, get something going for you. Become a more than a conqueror in something. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, show them what they need to be more than a conqueror in right now. Show them, Lord. Holy Ghost, show them what they need right now. Show them, Holy Spirit, what they need to become an expert in. They become an expert, be able to hit the target every time, every time, every time, every time. Bless God. Oh, hallelujah. Show them the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to God. Show them the Holy Ghost. Get you a few scriptures on healing. Get a few scriptures and go over them and over them and over them. Go over them. You'll get more out of it. You'll start digging down for the gold. You start digging down, digging on down, down into that scripture. Holy Spirit will start mining the, the preciousness of the thing. You just keep on it. You just keep at it. Get your scripture or two. Keep looking at it. Put it before your eyes, the front lip before your eyes. Write it on the tablets of your heart. 
bring it up on your uh, cell phone, praise God. Just keep it before you. When you lie down, keep it before you. When you rise up, keep it before you. When you go out, keep it before you. When you come in, keep it before you. And after a while, you become an expert at it. You, you just be able to do it. You'll be able to hit the bullseye every time, every time, every time, every time. Now, now there'll, be a, there'll be a trying of your faith, which is more precious than silver and gold. There's the trying of your faith. Do you really believe it? It doesn't look like it. Do you really, do you still believe it? It doesn't feel like it. Do you still believe it? It doesn't seem like it. Do you still believe it? Trying of your faith. Do you believe God? Do you believe God no matter what you feel like? Do you believe what God said or do you believe what's going on in your life? You believe what the scripture says or do you believe the sickness or the disease or whatever? What are you going to, there's a trying of your faith. You're going to have to, you're going to have to pass that, uh, that, uh, that, that, uh, um, subject. You're going to have to pass that, that that thing that's trying to get you to not believe it. I'm telling you, praise God, there'll be a time when it don't make any sense. When there's no, it doesn't make a bit of sense to still be believing God. It don't look like it or seem like it. There's a time, there'll be a time when, when, when you come to him and he said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, it doesn't make any sense. Doesn't, doesn't seem right. You're talking about cannibalism. Doesn't say, Lord, that doesn't make any sense. Will you still believe him? Will you still trust him? Hallelujah. When it doesn't look like it's working, when it doesn't feel like it's working, when, when, he, when it seems like you're sicker than you ever been, will you still believe him? Will you still trust him? Praise God. Will you believe that God's, what God said is bigger than your experience? Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Will you believe him? Will you have faith in God? No matter what it looks like, will you have faith in God? You're going to have to do that to get to be an expert in a, in a situation. You're going to have to be a time when the trying of your faith will come. And you, and you just have to say, God, I believe you. God, I believe you. God, I believe you. It doesn't feel like it. God, I believe you. It doesn't seem like it. God, I believe you. You said by your stripes I'm healed. You said, you said that you healed the sick, raised the dead, cast out demons. Lord, I believe you. God, I, I'm praying for others. Ain't nothing happening. God, I believe you. Right. Lord, I'm, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm praying that people's blinded eyes will be open. Nothing will happen. Will you still believe me? Will you still say, will you eat my flesh? Will you drink my blood? Will you stay with me when it doesn't see? Will you go beyond the norm? Will you go beyond the norm into the supernatural? Will you go beyond the, the you know, what everybody else can, will you stick with them no matter what? Will you do it? If you do it, raise your hands and tell him, God, I'll do it. God, I'll do it. I, I done, God, I'll do it. God, if everybody else gives up, I'll do it. God, I'll, your word is true, and that's all I know about it. Oh, God, I thank you and I praise you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Well, verse 3 there said, Every place the sole of your foot treads. Right. Every place the sole of your foot treads. That word tread does not mean to walk lightly over it. It means to stomp on it. Yes. Every place of sole of your foot stomps on it. Yeah, stomps on it. Hallelujah. I put you under, you're under my feet. I stomp on you. In the name of Jesus, I stomp on sickness. I stomp on depression. I stomp on it, praise God. Hallelujah. I stomp on it. I tread on it. I stomp it down till it's nothing, hallelujah, to what God said is right. That's, that's my, um, my belief, what I've got. God said it. It's mine. Hallelujah. It's mine. Hallelujah. I ain't letting the devil have it. Mine. Hallelujah. I'm not letting my flesh talk me out of it. It's mine. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every place the sole of your foot treads. I've given it to you. I've already given it to you. I have given it where your sole of your foot I've given to you. Just as I spoke to Moses. And, uh, Goes down there from the wilderness. Look in verse nine, uh, five. No man will be. No D man 
<laughs> will be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Hallelujah. Just that I've been with Jesus, I'll be with you. Hallelujah. I will not fail you. I will not forsake you. Be strong. Be courageous. For you give this people possession of the land which he swore, I swore to their fathers to give them. That's where the uh, body of Christ is going. Where they give possession. They take possession. And then they give possession of the land to other people that want God. That want something else besides this crazy world and the lust and junk in this world. Be able to give it away. Praise God. You can give joy to people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can give peace to people. Amen. You can give life to people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Give it away. You can give healing to people. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah to God. I give it to you so you can give the possession. You can give it away. It's more blessed to give than what? Well, it ain't, a, but it's pretty good to receive. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, but it's more blessed to give. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One more time, verse 5, no demon will be able to stand before you. Yeah. We'll be able to stand before you all the days of your life. Right. Just as I've been with Moses, I'll be with you. Yes, I will not fail you. Say, say he won't fail me. He won't forsake me, but be strong and courageous, for you shall give this people possession of the land, which I swore to their fathers give them. Only be strong and very courageous. Say, I'm strong. I'm very courageous. Be careful to do all the... Uh, the law, which the law we live under is the law of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 8, this book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you yes. may be careful to do according to all that's written in it. For then you will make your own way prosperous and you will have success because you've done it. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen. Bless God. I hear, you, I hear people, you know, and God bless their heart, but I hear people say, well, God's just about to do something. God's just about to give something. God's just about, God already gave it all. Right. Isn't any more to give? That's right. God, no, well, God's just about to make it so that, so that everybody prospers. Now, God's got a way of prosperity. Give and it shall be. Give, give. Yeah, amen. And, it, and that law's not going to change. Right. It's not going to change. It's going to work that way from now on, praise God. So, so God has given to you authority, power, ability, righteousness, peace, joy. It belongs to you. Belongs to you. Belongs to you. Quit letting the devil steal your peace. That's right. Stop it. Quit letting the devil take it. Who you think you are, devil? Who you think you are? I got a sword waiting on you. <laughs> Come here. Stand right there. In the name of Jesus. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in this world. I'm more than a conqueror in the name of Jesus. Peace he gave me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm the peace of God that passes all understanding. Amen. Guards my heart and mind. Yes, Praise God. Hallelujah. You do that a few times and that devil will quit messing with you. Right. Quit coming around you. Praise God. Amen. He just comes around you so much because you don't do nothing about it. Yes. You just let him be there. Yes. He likes to torment you. Well, turn around and torment him. Praise God. Hallelujah. You can use the word of God to torment him. Yes, amen. Blessed be God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The well. The well that's attached to your life. There's a well that's attached to your life that you need to start drawing from. There's a well. I see a 
it's a well, and you need to start drawing from that well. Amen. Everything in that well belongs to you. Yeah, right. Everything down in the, but you, you have to draw up out of it. Yeah. You, know, you have to draw up out of it. God, God, there's a well, and everything in that, that cool, refreshing water of life in Christ Jesus belongs to you. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let down the bucket. <laughs> Let it down for a, for a drop. Let it down, praise God, that it comes up. And it'll be, it'll be more than you can handle. It'll be more, not just a bucket full, but just torrents of it. Just torrents of it uh, that, that, that'll flood over your life. Praise God. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. This book of the law of love shall not depart from your mouth, but you'll meditate on it day and night. So you be careful to do it according to all that's written in it, for then you'll make your own way prosperous and you will have success. Have I not commanded you be strong and courageous? Don't tremble, don't be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. The Lord your God, I, wherever you go, the Lord your God is with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go over here with me to the uh, Gospel of John. In about the 14th chapter. Oh, bless God. Do not let your heart be... Do not let trouble get in your heart. Believe in God. Believe also in Jesus. In my Father's house are many dwelling places. If that one saw, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. There's a place for you. There's a place for you, and he's come. This isn't just talking about going to heaven. There's a place he said, I will come and receive you to myself because I've got a place for you. Yes, You're born into this time period now because he's got a place for you yes. in, this, in this time, in this place right now. God got a place for you. And he's, he said, so I come and receive you to myself so that where I am, there you may be where I am. Yes. Where you are, I am where I am, you are. Amen. You, you, you receive me. You come to the place that I prepared for you. There's a place prepared, made that you fit in. You're the only one fit in, fits into it perfectly. But you fit into that place. And there's a place, he said, come here, come here. The devil's trying to keep you out of that place trying to keep you because you come to it and you get in that place and you walk in that place and you allow the ability and the power of God out of, out of your place to affect everybody around you. You do it. There's a place for you. Place for you. He made a place, special place. He made a place for you. Special place. Special place. So many Christians are out of place. Out of place. Get in place. Praise God. Get in the fullness of your place. Hallelujah. Get in the fullness of your place. God's got a further place for you, brother. God's got a further place for you. Hallelujah. God's got a further place for you. Oh, you, you, you've been in it a time or two, or at least somewhat, but, but there's a further place for you, my brother. Amen. God's got a place for you. 
God's got a place for you, George. In the name of Jesus, raise your hand up right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, George, in Jesus' name, get in your place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I rebuke that that tries to keep you out of your place. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Fullness. Fullness of your heart. Your heart be in it. Your heart. Your, your heart. Your desire. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Oh, bless God. I go to prepare a place for you. For you. You decide whether you're going to be in that place. You. I come and receive you. So that, and you follow me. You walk with me. If you walk with me, you'll be in your place. If you, if you walk in this world, you're not going to be in your place. You'll be out of place. But you walk with Jesus. If you walk with him, you'll be in place. Yes. Praise God. You'll be in place. And everything, and everything that God has, God has uh, spoken to you and everything that God has planned for your life is only going to transpire in your place. You get out of place, and, it, and you might get some of it done, but it's only going to transpire in its fullness when you're in your place. Your place. Your place. Tell him, God, I want to be in my place. God, I'm going to do what I need to do. You said you do it. You said you. That's me. Lord, I want to be in my place. Hallelujah. The place you prepared for me. Not the place I think I ought to be. Not the place somebody else thinks I ought to be. Not the place that somebody else has told me I ought to be. Lord, I'm being your place for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the fullness of it. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fullness of your place. There's too many people not being affected because you're not in your place fully. You're in there somewhat, but, but there's other people that, that God planned for you to come across their pathway so that, and you can sh help them and show them to get in their place. But you've got to be in your place. Right. Fullness. You're going to have to get, you're going to have to get, get more, get more focused on God. You've got to get more focused on, on the things of God. You're going to have to get more focused on this stuff. You, this stuff going to have to be more, more um, uh, valuable to you. Meditate on it day and night. Make your way prosperous. Hallelujah. Make you to have you to have good success in it. Yes. Hallelujah. Turn off that other stuff. That's right. Turn off that other stuff. Yes. Full of lies anyway. Turn it off. Amen. You don't need no lies. You need truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit has come. He's come to show you things to come. Show you things to happen before before the news knows anything about it. Amen. And they, what they know about it, they won't tell you anyway. <laughs> Lie about it. Oh, bless God. But God will tell you the truth. Right. Holy Ghost will tell you what's going on. Holy Ghost will tell you what's going on. Hallelujah. He knows everything. Holy Spirit knows everything. Holy Spirit's the most precious person in your life. Holy Spirit is the only person in your life you can't do without. That's right. You can do without. Might be some other people you don't want to do without, but he's the only person you cannot do without. Right. Amen. Holy Spirit's more precious. Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you into all truth. Holy Spirit will show you what's coming. Holy Spirit will prepare you today for what's coming tomorrow. Holy Spirit will show you where to plant and so that when the, when the, when the um, need arises, you've got a great harvest coming up. When everybody else is going into famine, that you're reaping a hundredfold, praise God. And people say, well, how'd you do that? My God, hallelujah. My God has lead me. My God has told me. 
My God is telling me when to plant, what to plant, how to weed it, how to water it. My God has done it. And it's coming up on every wave, coming in on every wave. Hallelujah. I'm being blessed coming in. I'm being blessed going out. I'm being blessed when I rise up, blessed when I sit down. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be God. God meant for you to be blessed exceedingly, abundantly, above all you ever ask or thought. Hallelujah. But you got to cooperate with it. You got to cooperate. You got to listen to the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit knows everything. He knows things about you you don't know. You don't know everything about you. Holy Spirit knows everything about you. Knows everything. He knows things on the inside of you you don't even know yet. You had not come to a place where you need it yet. He knows it's there and he'll train you. He'll get you trained so that when, the, when that time comes, you're not behind you, but you're ahead, praise God. You'll be a leader, not a follower. Blessed be God. Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. Nobody like the Holy Spirit. And nobody like the Holy Spirit. Nobody. You don't know anybody on earth. Holy Spirit's the greatest person on earth. Holy Spirit's the greatest person on earth. Ain't nobody greater than the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is your personal spirit, your personal guide, your teacher, your, your tutor. He knows how to teach you in a way you get it, that you understand it. Holy Spirit, oh, bless God. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I love you. Holy Spirit, I need you. Holy Spirit, I recognize you. Holy Spirit, I want you. Holy Spirit, I walk with you. Holy Spirit, I talk with you. Holy Spirit, you're my comforter. Holy Spirit, you're my guide. Holy Spirit, you tell me to do it, and I'll do it. Holy Spirit, you show me how to do it. Holy Spirit, you're the one that helps me to plan in due time. Holy Spirit, you're the one that shows me to get into a scripture and meditate on it until that scripture becomes in me and I in it because it's coming. Something's coming. I'm going to need that. Something's coming. I'm going to be able to release the power of God. I'm going to be able to release the angels of Almighty God in that situation. And people are going to say, how'd you do that? How'd you know? I want to tell you about my friend, the Holy Spirit. I want to tell you about somebody that sticks closer than a brother. He's my best friend. Hallelujah. 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 I live to pre please him. I just live to please him. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, glory to God. Bless the Lord. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. 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 Where I am, I want you to be right there. Where I am, I want you to be also. Where I am, I want you to be right there. I don't want you to be out of place. I want you to be where I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father's in me. Otherwise, believe because of the works. Truly, I say to you, he who believes, he who believes in me, Truly, truly, I say to you, verily, verily, I say to you, I'm saying this, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. He not might do, might could do. No, he that believes, he will do. Because, and greater than these he'll do. Because I'm going to the Father and I'm going to make sure it happens. I'm going to make sure that it happened. Whatever you ask in my name, I'll do it. Whatever you ask in my name, whatever you, whatever you ask me in my name, I'm going to do it that the Father may be glorified. If you ask me anything in my name, I'll do it. If you ask me whatever you ask, if you ask me anything, I don't care how, what it is, if you ask, I'll do it. I'll do it. Ask me big. Ask me big. Ask me big. Quit asking me little. Quit asking me little. I'm a big God. I'm more than able. Ask big. Whatever you ask big in my name. Whatever you ask beyond the possible in my name. I'm the God of the impossible. I'm God that makes the possible, the impossible possible. Hallelujah. Ask big. You ain't asking big enough. You're you're not seeing big enough. In the name of Jesus, may you have a greater a, a greater vision. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord, may you have a bigger vision, a greater. Ask big. 
Yeah. Ask big and you receive big. Ask small, you receive small. Yeah. Ask big. You're not asking big enough. Ask big, praise God. Ask big. Get, get, get on out there in your wildest yeah. imagination and ask, praise God. Hallelujah to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to raise your hands with me one more time. I want you to ask for something big. I want you to ask for something big in your life. I want you to ask for something you've never seen. I want you to ask for something you, you've never maybe even seen anybody, but you, you asked your big God. Ask him. He's a big God. He's a big God. Ask for something big. Ask for something beyond your ability to perform it and get the thing done. Just ask big. Hallelujah. Ask a big God for a big answer. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Have big faith in a big God that gives you a big answer. Praise God. Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Change. Change, I say to you. I say to you, change Change your life. Change your vision. Change your expectancy. Change in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. May you change and ask big. May you change, hallelujah, and receive. Now when you pray, believe you receive. Believe it's on its way. Believe it's coming. Believe God already answered. He said, whatever you ask, he said, I'll do it. God's doing something. God doing something. I asked him for something. God's doing something. He said, I'll do it. I'll do it. God's doing something. God's doing something. Hallelujah. I'm going to keep my faith out there in the fact that God's doing something. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Doesn't matter what it seems like. Doesn't matter what anybody else is going through. I'm believing. Hallelujah. I'm a believer. That's what I'm a big believer. Glory to God. I got a big God. And now I'm a big. And I ask big. And I receive big. And I receive big. Receive it. Hallelujah. Believe that you have received when you pray. And he'll give it. It'll be done to you.